triangle ABC over line M. The first thing that you want to do is select a point from your pre-image and we're going to use our compass to create a line that's perpendicular to the line of reflection but that goes through that point of the pre-image. So we're going to start with point A and what you want to do is place your compass, place the point on point A and you're going to create an arc that intersects your line of reflection um, in two points. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your compass, place the compass on one of those points of intersection on your line of reflection, and you're going to create a little arc. And you're going to just, using the same exact setting, you're going to flip the compass over and you're going to create an arc from this point of intersection. So using the same setting, you're going to create an arc which will end up intersecting the one that you just did. Now what you're going to do is connect point A through this point that you just created. So this is your perpendicular line and from what you've already seen um, A and A prime should be equidistant from the line of reflection. So what we're going to do is just with our compass measure how far A is from the line of reflection and then we will create a point that's the same distance on the other side of the line of reflection. So if we look here, let's just set this up. Okay, so this is the distance from the line of reflection to A. We're going to flip that over. It's very, very close to my intersection here. And we'll label that A prime. Okay, now we're going to repeat this process two more times for points B and C. Can't see my prime there. We'll just put it a little higher. Okay. So now from B, we're going to switch up the colors here. Let's use. Let's pink. Okay, so once again, you're going to create an arc that intersects your line of reflection in two points. Okay. From the points of intersection. You're going to create a smaller arc using the same setting. You're going to do another arc that intersects the one you just did. and then connect B through this new point that you've created and this will be your perpendicular. And the last step is just to find, to measure how far B is from the line of reflection so that you can find B prime on the other side. Okay, so there's my measurement. <laughs> This is my location of B prime. And the last step, we're going to just do this for point C. So place your compass on point C. Let's use R. So what we're going to do an arc that intersects the line of reflection in two points. Okay. Now from this point of intersection, we're going to just do a little arc up here. Using the same setting, go to the other point of intersection. So right about here. Draw my other arc. OK, 
Okay, and we're going to connect through to MC. And it ends up being the same since um, C and B both happen to fall on the same line. The perpendicular is going to actually be the same thing. So we really didn't need to redo really that. Now we're just going to measure how far C is from the line of reflection. Okay. And we just make a little mark for where C prime should be. And now all we have to do is just connect these three points to find, to create our reflection image. So we're going to connect right here from A to B. And B to C. and then from A to C. Let's see if we can just fix this one a little bit. There we go. So there is my reflection image, triangle ABC prime, um, and my pre-image, triangle ABC.